What's up guys, GGB is good here, and you've tuned in to the first part of the week of Marth. If you haven't tuned in before, this is a three-part series for every character where I do one character each week, online matches, 101 for Glory, and Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. As the title implies, today's character and this week's character is Marth. If you'd like to see a particular character next week, however, go ahead and leave your character suggestion in the comment section below. I will get to that character via popular vote but usually it's only one person so <laughs> that's totally fine with me god damn it nintendo i just had a perfectly fine match and now you god damn it they always do this it, it always ends up this way i play like five matches to warm up with the character and they all go fine and then once i start recording boom communication has occurred communication errors occurred etc etc <sighs> it's alright though. I guess we should talk about Marth's origin. He originated in the Fire Emblem series, I believe in the first one. Um, don't quote me on that one. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, I do remember playing as him in the Fire Emblem game that was on the Game Boy Advance, but I'm not sure if that was a remake of the first one or not. So I cannot... <sighs> make a comment on that situation but he's been a mainstay in smash bros series ever since smash bros melee and that includes this game as well obviously um and you know he's just been the i believe he's a prince yeah he's a prince in the fire emblem series i love the fire emblem series but um he Definitely was made popular in Melee by Ken, obviously. The Ken combos. Um, and then ever since Brawl, he's uh, sort of... I don't know, he's still been a popular character. But I don't think he's that popular in this game. Um, as of right now. Anyways. But, um, they changed... I believe the biggest change they made to him would have to be... Uh, since Brawl, that is... Um, of course, it's fairly di he's fairly different from Melee. Um, but then again, this game is fairly different from Melee. And I'm getting bodied by a dunk hunt. A dunk, a dunk hunt. But, um, yeah, the main, I think, difference would be his uh, B move. It now, uh, I think only if it's fully charged. But um, it will now just automatically break your shield, your opponent's shield, um, if you hit their shield, obviously. But, uh, that being said, uh, he has all the same moves from melee. Um, he has a counter, he's the king of counters. <laughs> um, but obviously, the most important part uh, would have to be the way he does damage. and Or the way he gets... Yeah, damage and knockback um, are very slightly unique to him uh the way uh the hitboxes on his moves um he has obviously a sword as his main form of attacking i believe he doesn't have any other except for his grabs um whoops that sucked <laughs> ah that was annoying anyways yeah so the strongest part of his sword is the tip of the sword um so you want to space your enemy's um, sword's length away, obviously, if you want to get um, any KOs, really, <laughs> or any nice KOs. So I always like to give people the best two out of three, as, uh, assuming they have decent connection, which this person certainly has. But that being said, he or she, I don't know, uh, would not like to play me again. <laughs> Anyways, Marth, uh, I believe Marth's, uh, the reason Marth isn't so popular in this game is because um, most of his moves, his aerials, which made him pretty good in melee, uh, uh oh, we got a Mewtwo, uh, in this game give him a lot of, a lot of trouble when he lands with them, uh, halfway through the animation of them, because then he will go into this sort of recovery phase where he can't really 
do anything. A couple recovery frames where you can't really, um, I don't know, do anything after the move. So a lot of his moves are not too safe on block. Oof. But that being said, he's still a powerful character. So let's go over some of his moves. Um, his down smash hits on both sides of him, but at different times. Um, so he hits in front of him first and then behind him. I think it's one of his more useful smashes. His up smash, I think, got a pretty good buff. Um, both in hitbox and damage and knockback. So it's pretty much a pretty viable move now, I think. Um, ooh. Ooh, why would he teleport into me? Is that safe at all? <laughs> and then his forward smash is probably his strongest smash. Um, and it's 180 degrees around him, so it's pretty useful. Um, that being said... Uh, what else is there to talk about? All of Marth's aerials are pretty strong. Um, and they can... They combo pretty well into each other, actually. Uh, if you have enough air uh, space around you. Uh, Marth doesn't have the best recovery, so that being said, uh, you gotta know how how and when to use any of his moves in the air, um, and how long they take to uh, complete their animation. God, this internet. It's lagging. It's lagging! I gotta fight through the lag, man. Um, so I guess we already talked about his neutral B move. Um, wow, way to taunt. You think he killed me? Get out, son. Maybe you should get better internet, too. What's going on? Okay. Got him! <laughs> Anyways. Wow, I jumped and used a forwarder there, but I actually didn't because I just walked off the stage. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is happening. All right. Yeah, you might as well. I don't think it, our connections are too well uh, sorted out there. Anyways, I guess I'll take that one. I can't complain. Um, yeah, so what we were talking about is his neutral B we already talked about, you can just charge it up by holding down B and uh, it will go ahead and do that for you. Um, his up B is a nice little jump and it's also an attack. It's It does 11 damage so it's not, it's not incredibly powerful but it's also not too weak. It's not like a weak attack. I think people can pull off kills with it. Um, I think it has a decent amount of knockback. Our next opponent will be K. Um, ooh, D D D, or Day to Day. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he is my favorite character. <laughs> uh oh, that happened. Anyways, uh, yeah. So his forward air. Well, I guess we should talk about his special moves first. Um. We talked about up B and down B. His side B. No, we didn't talk about down B. His down B is his counter. It comes out pretty quickly. Um, it stays out for a while. And it does decent amount of damage. Obviously, I think it counters the move that is thrown at you. I'm not sure how counters work in this game, but they work. <laughs> they work, I guess. Um, and then his side B move, I think, is called Dancing Blades or something along those lines. Um, yeah, you, there are three variants of it. Uh, one where you just uh, you have it, it's a four hit move, uh, and you have to hit B at the right time every time. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, spike stage, uh, stage spike. Um, yeah, basically. I'll use it for you guys. You have to hit B at the right time when he's done, but it's hard to do in lag. Uh, um, but anyways, yeah, it's you have to hit B when he's done finishing his uh, attack that you just 
started by hitting B. Um, I know that's kind of confusing, but you'll figure it out. Uh, the timing is a little, is probably the most specific timing in the game, I, I would say, aside from uh, just for completing, continuing a move, because <laughs> there aren't actually any moves like it in this game. Um, but there are three variants. You can uh, tilt downward or ooh, diagonally downward. I forgot that hit behind him also. Diag or diagonally upward or just straight up forward. And uh, I believe it changes the the second and fourth of that attack string or else it's the third and fourth. Either way, the first will always be the same. Um, what else should we talk about? Yeah, so we went over all his specials. We should go over his aerials, which are really where Marth players like to win their games. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously going to what I said at the beginning, it's all about the tippers with Marth. So you got to hit the tip of his blade um, in order to do significant knockback with his attacks. Otherwise, they're pretty... Uh, they won't do as much knockback. Oh, crap. Wow, this internet. Why? <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, so basically... You can just... His forward air is a... Oh, crap, he made it back. I didn't know what to do in that situation. And I know DDD. Ugh. Damn it. Uh, yeah, so basically his forward air is a, a strike forward. He slashes forward on quite similarly to most of his forward aerial moves, or forward attacking moves. Um, and basically... Oh, crap. Dropped too much. Basically all his um, aerial moves are just slashes. His up his up aerial is the same thing as his forward air, but it's um, aimed upward, and his down air is the same thing. But his, his back air is also the same thing. It just has a slightly different animation. Um, his neutral air, however, will slash in front and behind him, which is kind of nice. It's a two-hit move, so it's a pretty good move. Uh, I guess we'll move on to the next one. <sighs> his grabs are really good for combos, but they're, they don't do too... I guess it did 7 damage, so it's not bad. Um, I guess it's worth noting that his um, down air will spike if you um, get the right part of the hitbox. So I believe it has to be right below him, which makes sense, I suppose. Um, I guess we should talk about his tilts, his down tilt, uh, he does a little poke below him. His forward tilt is just a slash like that. Um, his up tilt is actually rather powerful. It looks quite similar to his forward tilt, but it hits above him also. Um, I think it's you might as well just use his up tilt, because it has the same hitbox as his forward tilt, um, but actually just an extended hitbox. I don't quote me on that one. <laughs> also, I'm not a Marth player, as you can tell. Um, but, you know, everyone likes him. Who doesn't like Marth? And that's, that's the thing. You wanna... I've been caught off guard by plenty of Marths who just jump at me and start holding down B. And my immediate reaction is to hold bring up the shield but that's exactly what they want you to do because then they just end up breaking your shield so um that's one strategy but i mean it's pretty easy to counter uh all you have to do is just roll back or jump over them or just not get hit by it um, because that move will break your shield so that's a decent strategy i suppose if you think your opponent will block um, if your opponent doesn't know what you're doing. But obviously higher level play in Smash Bros. 4, you know, uh, those players will know what to do if you do that. Um, Marth is 
I think most of his strings come together horizontally, uh, most of the moves. Uh, right there, I got the kill because uh, I got the tip of the sword attacking him. Um, so, I mean, you got to understand, you have to space with Mars. Uh, you have to keep your opponent um, that much farther away from you. If you don't think you're up to that, um, but you still like Marth's moves, I totally suggest you just use Lucina instead, because um, I believe all of her sword does the same amount of damage. Um, not just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Oh, man. Damn. <laughs> I should have countered uh, when he did the down smash. Yeah, but Marth is really good. Um, he's he's a rushdown character, so he can apply a lot of pressure. He's pretty quick, and he can apply a lot of pressure pretty quickly. Um, he's quite similar to Luigi in that respect, I suppose, in this game. Luigi is definitely a rushdown character because all his moves just string together. All his aerials, anyways. Marth's quite similar in that respect because a lot of his aerials... Um, well, you'll get one, two, or three um, aerials in a row, and that's how you really rack up damage, or that's how you lose. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's going to be the first part of the week of Marth for you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Tune in a couple days, I guess in two days. I've been on a regular schedule as of late, so uh, I hope that continues. But tune in a couple days for the next part. Um, it should be going up in two days. So thanks so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to me if you like me. And until next time, guys, peace out.